guys, it's Lexi. I am here today to share a haul from Zape. This was a part of her Halloween and fall collection. A little bit behind on posting this, but very excited. I have been holding on this package probably for like a week now, maybe. I uh, haven't opened it. A lot of things have been going on in my personal life, so I just didn't get a chance. And I really wanted to open this on camera so you guys could see my first sniff impressions and reactions and all that fun stuff. So I held off, but I cannot hold off any longer. I am finally sitting down to film this. So like I said, all I've done is just open the box. I haven't sniffed through anything. So here's what it looks like um, when you open it up. It does have this kind of, I don't know if this is gingham or buffalo plaid or something like that. Um, really cute tissue paper right on top here. I always reuse all of my Zape tissue paper because it's the cutest. And then it did have two things on top this time, which normally it does come with this little uh, thing that says beyond grateful experience happiness through scent um, with some of the information on the back here. I'll leave all of that information down below if you guys are interested. I will also leave like my little 5% discount thing. It's not just for me, like anybody can use it. You can sign up and get your own to share with your friends. Um, but if you wanna save $5, I'll leave that link down below. And then um, also, if you want, I can send it to you guys because I know some people have had problems clicking the link with that. It also has this little note thing, which I did go ahead and read, and it just says it's summertime, um, and it talks about the like body butter sugar scrubs and how sometimes there can be like air pockets and you just kind of like have to shake it to use it, um, stuff like that. Um, and then now onto the fun part, we are going to dive into this box. So as always, the Zape um, packages come with like a ton of this squiggly paper, which will be fun for Theo to play with. So I'm going to gently put it down here and hope for the best. Um, but it looks like we have a sample right on top here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit this box down and then I'll pull out the stuff and we'll go one by one. Okay, so I went ahead and I just pulled out some of the wax so I can grab it a little bit easier. But it looks like the first little sample I have here is in Fall Naps. And the sample doesn't have the scent notes, but I know that this is a scent that I passed up on. I wanna say because there's a flannel sheets oil. It's actually pretty delightful. Um, I think if this is the one that I'm thinking of with that flannel sheets oil, typically I tend to try to avoid that specific oil because I've had it before and it just wasn't a favorite of mine because I'm usually not super keen on laundry scents. However, if this is what I'm thinking of, it's actually really delightful. And I think that that probably means I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with laundry scents because I do smell that laundry kind of flannel sheets-esque note in here. So I think that's what I'm smelling, but this smells really lovely. So happy and excited to smell that in my bathroom. And now on to all of the wax that I picked up. So this first one here is in Poison Apple. And last year, this was a body care product that I picked up and used a, I wanna say like a whipped soap version of. And so this year they have it in the, um, wax not soap so it is crisp red apple sweet pumpkin fall pastries and sleeping potion which of course who knows what sleeping potion is but really cute it's got a little apple and like a crossbone here on a little square shape which is nice or rectangle shape and this smells exactly like that whipped soap did spot on um, if you guys have had that whip soap or tried that whip soap last year and you're curious how similar they are this is exactly like that it's a very very sweet red apple to my nose um i don't get a whole lot of pumpkin in this to be honest because it does say fall pastries and sweet pumpkin to my nose this is honestly just a very pretty like classic red delicious apple kind of a scent which i think is really nice so that was poison apple then the second one here is Black Magic Chai. And I actually did go ahead and pick up two of the Black Magic Chai. This is a scent that I have and I picked it up last year. Totally fell in love with it. This is notes of spiced chai, creamy caramel, sweet candy apples, and Halloween pumpkins. This smells exactly like um, there's a drink that is like local to me at a coffee shop and they call it apple chai of my eye and it's like a chai tea latte with apple like spices or like almost like um like an apple pie almost like filling in the chai tea latte and i always get it iced it is the most delicious drink and that is literally exactly what this smells like 
Um, if you think that chai is like overly spicy, I would say that try this because I thought the same thing. I was really nervous about this, but when you melt it, it is not like a super spicy scent. It's honestly mostly like a sweet, rich, caramely apple type of scent with a bit of like that delicious chai spice in the background. Love the scent. Super excited to have two more bags of it. That is Black Magic Chai. This one here is new to me. This is Cashmere and Leaves. I want to say that this is brand new to Zape this year. It's notes of fluffy cashmere sweaters, crisp fall air, and dried autumn leaves. And it's got a really cute little pumpkin and then some like darker kind of tan leaves here all around it. And I really enjoy cashmere scents. Ooh, this is very interesting. Definitely a little bit more heavy on like the leaves and like the fall air than the cashmere. I really thought that it was going to be predominantly like a cashmere scent, but I feel like I can smell a lot of that. Like it smells more like a fresh, clean laundry, but not like if you smell like cashmere specifically, you know that sometimes it can come across like almost like a sweet laundry scent. And this is more of like a fresh laundry scent. Um, very pretty though. Very excited to melt this. That leaf scent I did not think was going to be strong, but I can smell that leaves. Not like leaves like the Bath and Body Works type leaves, like leaves like it almost does smell like the dried fall leaves in the air. Um, really interesting. Very excited to melt that. I feel like I'm going to say that for all these, like very excited about that, but I'm always excited. Um, another thing too is all of these bags, if they look a little dusty, it's because those like little worm things like it makes dust on all these bags. So I don't know if you guys can really pick that up in the camera, but I see it. Um, so I just figured I'd note. Uh, this is Black Cauldron, which is autumn leaves, fall breeze, white pumpkin, cedar, and sandalwood with a little bat here, a little black bat, and it looks like a little like jack-o'-lantern with a witch's hat on it. Very cute shapes. That's like the one thing, I mean, not the one thing, I love everything about Zay, but that's like one of the big things that I love are all the fun shapes and colors and like, the fun, like, I don't know, like labels and everything. I'm, I'm all about it. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, so there's something that's like coming across like slightly sweet. Maybe it's the white pumpkin. Fall breeze, white pumpkin, cedar, and sandalwood and autumn leaves. There's definitely like this really like earthy freshness in here. Slightly, I can pick up a little bit, I feel like, of that sandalwood, but I think that white pumpkin, I think that there's like a sweetness coming through from the white pumpkin. I don't know what else would be doing it. Maybe cedar has a bit of like a sweetness, like a tree sweetness, but this is not like a tree heavy scent. This is like fresh. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's like maybe the sandalwood is slightly sweet too, but there's like this sweet freshness happening. This is really, really, really good. This is honestly um, very hard to describe, but very, very nice. So it's like, I guess if I had to say anything, it almost smells like, there's no laundry note, but it smells like if you're like walking outside in like the cool air and somebody in the far, far, far distance is like maybe have, they have like clothes hanging up on the line outside and it's, a, it's like a subtle sweetness but maybe it's like somebody that has worn a lot of cologne and there's like still cologne on the shirt. I don't really know. It's hard to describe. It's a sweet, earthy freshness. It's really good. That's Black Cauldron. This one here I picked up for Tom. This is Spider Bites. I love this little like rectangular shape here. It's got like a Dracula little teeth mark here with a little spider. It got a little bit smudged, but um, it's been a little toasty here lately. So this is Hazelnut and Cafe Mocha. So I'm not huge on hazelnut, but Tom loves hazelnut coffee. So I wanted to pick this up for him. This is really pretty nice. Um, I feel like you can smell like the nuttiness of the hazelnut. I feel like Tom's really gonna like this. I think that this is nice. And for somebody that isn't usually a big hazelnut fan, I can still get behind this. So I think if you love hazelnut, then you probably really enjoy this. Very nutty, like a nice coffee scent. This one is another repurchase of mine. This is like my all time favorite Halloween Zape scent thus far. Um, and like the years, the, you know, years back that I've been buying. I actually don't even know how many years, I think maybe like three years now. I think this must be my third year um, buying Zape for Halloween, but this is my all time favorite. I love this scent. Halloween Town is Caramel Cider, Autumn Leaves and Haunted Houses. 
So the caramel cider note in here is beyond delicious. It's like, it's almost to my nose, if you like paired the like kind of like sweet earthy freshness from Black Cauldron, but then you paired it with like a really delicious like caramel heavy apple cider scent, you get this, kind of. The essence of fall, it like, captured an ascent here. Um, it really makes me feel like we are in fall. Like, makes me feel like I want to put on a cozy sweater and like sit down with a blanket. And it's just like, it really feels like fall. Um, both of these really so far. I cannot wait to melt this one, this black cauldron, but this one, I can back this. Throws great, smells beautiful. If you're wondering what my favorite from Zape is, it is Halloween Town. Okay, next up we have Cookies and Scream. And this is like a big, almost like break apart bar here. It is notes of gingerbread cookies, gooey marshmallow, and campfire embers. I love how beautiful that looks. Ooh, okay. So this is definitely a very gingerbread heavy scent. I can slightly pick up. Well, the more I smell, I can pick up on the campfire kind of note. It kind of reminds me of like if you had a... Um, graham cracker but like one of those cinnamon graham crackers and you were making s'mores but minus the chocolate so it kind of smells like if you had a cinnamon graham cracker cookie and you sand sandwiched it between a um toasted marshmallow that's what this smells like with like the campfire smoke but first i think the first thing that hit my nose was that gingerbread cookies very interesting um i like the kind of fun like almost in between scent that this is giving me of like kind of smells like fall kind of smells like christmas so this is really interesting that is cookies and scream and then i did go ahead and pick up two of cabin in the woods so this is a brand new scent to me haven't tried this i think it's new to zape this year i don't think this has been around before but it sounded so good and i'll tell you why i picked it up in two different shape bags here it is crisp apple warm cider creamy vanilla and caramel drizzle so overall this is pretty much just like a caramel apple cider and i thought i'm so obsessed with like tinsel town because it has the caramel apple cider note and halloween town because it has that caramel apple cider note and i thought maybe this is just that scent oil like maybe that's just this so we're gonna see if it is I think it might be. I I genuinely feel like it could potentially just be that. This could be the thing that is added in that, like a caramel apple cider. And I love it. It's darn good. It's literally like if you are, I mean, I, I love like caramel apples in general, like car any caramel apple scent. I love like Cider Lane, anything like that, anything that's got like that rich gooey caramel and that crisp like apple biting, mm, I love it. And that's this, that's literally, it could have been like caramel apple um, and, it, and like caramel apple cider and I would have been like, yeah, sold. Um, but I like that it's Cabin in the Woods, that's a fun name. Cause then I can also melt it in winter too. I can melt it in fall, I can melt it in winter. Um, Cause sometimes my brain like doesn't let me do <laughs> like caramel apple in winter, but like Cabin in the Woods, totally can melt that in winter. So very excited about that. This is Crypt Keeper, a new one to me as well. It looks like this is almost like, I don't know what the shape is, but it almost looks like an eye. I don't know if it is. But Crypt Keeper is Haunted Woods, Fall Spices, and Scary Tales. There's like a little ghost and like I said, like an eye. I don't really know exactly what that is. Oh, this one's interesting. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what Scary Tales is supposed to smell like. Um, haunted Woods. I'm not sure what kind of wood but there is something, this is definitely like a sweet, spicy scent. There's, I gotta look up what the other notes, there's cinnamon and clove. I, I know that there's cinnamon and clove in this. Let me look this up. Okay, so I just looked up the notes online and it doesn't have any other notes in here besides like haunted woods, fall spices and scary tales, but like spun in a different kind of wording. So I literally have no idea what is in here. But to my nose, it is it is a very spice heavy scent, but I do get like some kind of a tree note in the background 
or woods note in the background, but it's not like a green tree. It's not like a spruce tree or like an evergreen tree or like a balsam or anything. It smells more like, I don't know, like an oak tree or something that's more just like, like a leafy tree rather than like a piney, like a needly tree. I don't know if that makes any sense, but with some like heavy fall spices like clove and cinnamon and stuff like that, nutmeg, maybe, I don't know, some baking kind of heavy spices. So this one's interesting, but I feel like this is what I'm like most nervous about to melt. So that is Crypt Keeper. This one here is red rum and red rum is baked apple, cinnamon spice and brown sugar crumble. So I'm gonna guess this is like a baked apple pie scent and it's got like little jack-o'-lanterns. Ooh, okay. This is interesting because I thought it was gonna be much more like baked apple pie. But this is like, this is interesting. I don't get like, I don't know if there's like a pie crust. Okay, there's no pie crust, no. It's a brown sugar crumble, which makes sense because this definitely smells more like an apple crumble rather than like a pie. Because you can distinctly almost smell like the crumbly kind of quality. And the apple is like a very sweet, like red apple. Um, or like, what's the kind of apple that you bake with? You guys know what I'm talking about. It smells like a baked, like a hot, warm, like baked apple. I do get the cinnamon, but it almost feels like the cinnamon is like part of the crumble. This is really good. Um, something that I also could see being something I could melt later. So with like the cabin in the woods, I can melt it later in the winter months or like um, with the like graham cracker little marshmallowy one, I feel like I could also melt that like closer to Christmas. This one I feel like kind of smells like something I would want to melt in like early, like mid November right around like um, Thanksgiving, something like that. Definitely a warm bakery inviting kind of a scent. That's red rum. So the next one I have here is Fireside Pumpkin. This is another repurchase of mine. I picked this up last year, totally fell in love with it. It is incredible. The notes of this are roasted pumpkins, fall spice, and fire roasted, fire toasted, not roasted, marshmallows. This is not, um, it says fall spices. This is not a spicy scent to me. This smells like to my nose, um, if you took a tray, if you were like cutting up jack-o'-lanterns, like making, carving a jack-o'-lantern, and then you gutted the pumpkin, um, and then you like sorted out the seeds and everything, and you roasted the pumpkin seeds on like a tray at home. Um, that's what this smells like to me, with like a little bit of like a like a um, marshmallow kind of scent. But it's it's mostly like that roasted pumpkin seed kind of a scent, which I also uh, spoiler for the body care that I picked up. I did get jack o' lantern, which also kind of smells like roasted pumpkin seeds to my nose. And I also got that scent last year and totally loved it and fell in love. So this one and jack-o'-lantern and body care kind of give me a very similar vibe of like that roasted pumpkin seed um, with like a little bit of sweetness from the marshmallow, like a toasted marshmallow, but totally love the scent. This is another one. This one, Halloween Town, um, I can totally vouch for these being like great and like favorites of mine. So that is Fireside Pumpkin. Then I have Haunted Hill and Haunted Hill is new to me as well. This is Autumn Breeze, Earthy Woods, Tonka and Musk. And I really like Tonka. It gives kind of like a really pretty like body care, like vanilla body care kind of vibe. This one is interesting. I have no idea what's going on. I, I don't know what I'm smelling. This is really lovely but it's very not what I expected. I thought that this was going to be like much like sweeter, slightly perfumey, but I think that earthy wood scent in the musk is like almost making it more like masculine. And I don't wanna say masculine, it's not like cologne -y. It's very like fresh and clean, but it's like a sweet, slightly like, slightly more like uh, body care, like men's body wash it kind of reminds me of that with like a bit of like a fall spin like if there was like a fall men's but honestly hold up i think that this would make an incredible men's body care scent for zape for next winter or fall haunted hill 
yeah, I totally could see this being like a men's body care or anyone. I would, I would wear this on my body. But it, it reminds me of something that Tom has worn or would wear. Um, really, really cool. And also, it, mine didn't get smudged, but they're little blue stars with like little skeleton heads on them. I, so cute, right? I don't know. I love all that stuff. So that's Haunted Hill. This one here is Witch's Brew. I picked this up because it was such a cute shape. It is like a little black cupcake with like a green spider on top here. This is fresh brewed coffee, marshmallow fluff, sweet pumpkin, and vanilla extract. Um, this kind of reminded me of another scent, P, what was it, PSL in something, which that's the scent that I had last year, and I didn't pick up another bag of that because I still have a lot left. Um, but this is kind of like, it's a pumpkin coffee scent, and it does smell kind of similar to that, except for... I want to say based on my memory, and I, I'm not going to pull out the other one right now, but if I'm comparing the pumpkin spice latte scent that I didn't pick up this year, I want to say that this smells slightly sweeter to my nose. Like much, the marshmallow fluff comes out a lot more. Um, and like a little bit of that pumpkin scent is also in there, but it's mostly, mostly, mostly like that um, gooey marshmallow, like melted into the coffee kind of a vibe, a little bit of pumpkin spice. Really nice, like that one a lot. This one is Hocus Pocus. This is a scent that I had in body care. I, I wanna say body care last year, or maybe I did have it, I can't remember. I've had this scent before, but I don't think I've had it in wax form, or at least not this wax form. I think it maybe it was scoops that I had it in or something like that, I cannot remember. Um, it's charred pine, dried fall leaves, and toasted marshmallow. I really can't remember, <laughs> you guys. Um, Yes, I've had this one before. I want to say, I want to say in body care is what I had it in. This is, there's like a perfume, a slightly perfumed kind of quality to this. And I don't really quite understand why, because pine is not really perfumey. Fall leaves aren't in toasted marshmallows. Um, but I think maybe the combination of like the pine and leaves are doing like this kind of, it, it smells perfumey to my nose. I don't know, maybe my nose is broken, but this is really a very pretty scent, um, in my opinion. Something that I would definitely wear on my body and slightly almost like a mature perfume kind of a vibe. That's what I get from this. Um, yeah, maybe it's the charred pine, I have no idea, but really nice scent, very excited about that. And only a few more left, I have four more left. So this one here is The Ritual, which is two little black roses with gold glitter, very pretty looking. It's sage, rosemary, and fall spices. This is one that I was really nervous about um, because sage is kind of an interesting note, but I thought, you know what? It might really smell like Halloween, so I'm gonna give it a go, why not? Whoa. This is 100% sage. This smells like if you were like, what's it, saging or smudging your house. That's what this smells like with a bit of the other spices, almost like I get cinnamon, clove maybe, like classic fall spices, but mostly that sage. Rosemary, I do get the rosemary. I just bought a lip balm that has rosemary in it. This is a very, very earthy, um, very um, herbally kind of a scent. If you're not a fan of like herbal type scents, then I would stray away from it, but I think that this one will be really good to have and very interesting to kind of mix into the fall melting, um, especially when you melt so much like bakery in fall. Sometimes it's nice to kind of like get the air a little bit like fresh with like something that's a not bakery scent. Um, so that's perfect for that. This one here is Spooky Hollow. It's a blue heart with an orange pumpkin on top. It's sweet pumpkin, fall fruit, sugar cane, and vanilla. Oh, I definitely can pick up on the fruit in here. Like it's a very fruity scent with like the spices. I don't know. It's, it smells like um, if you took like, like a pumpkin spice, like the pumpkin spice container and you like mixed in some fruit. It's so weird. I don't know if this is my, this might be the one that I'm most like unsure about. 
um, because I feel like it's confusing my nose, but it's not bad. It's just very, very different. I've, I can honestly say I've never smelled anything quite like this. And it's not, I don't know, it's not like, it's just maybe like a mold, maybe like a mold cider kind of a scent that kind of reminds me of like a mold cider a little bit. Um, very spice heavy, very, to my nose, very spice heavy. Not my personal favorite, but I'm excited to melt that. That's something that I could see melting in like November for sure. This one is the Coven. Love the little green kind of um, geometric shaped hearts on here with the black glitter. This is sage, again, cardamom, woody, pecan, vanilla, and apple peel, which I was most intrigued by that sage and the apple peel note. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one is crazy interesting. Very different. It does smell distinctly like the peel of the apple and not like the, like the apple, like the juiciness kind of quality of an apple. It smells like a dried apple peel. This kind of reminds me of um, a little bit of like a potpourri, kind of like a uh, like an apple potpourri. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Like if you had like a sage apple potpourri scent. This is kind of like a nostalgic, almost like a nostalgic-y kind of something that, I don't know, Not my mom didn't have a lot of, we didn't have a lot of fragrance in our house because my dad is sensitive to fragrance. But I feel like had my mom had like a fall fragrance, that seems like something that my mom would have, like almost like a potpourri-esque type like scent. Like that's kind of what that reminds me of. All right. And now finally on to my last wax of this order. This is pumpkin sugar cookie. And I will be honest, this was a last, um, last minute cart ad kind of a situation. I kind of thought to myself that I was like, I can get a pumpkin sugar cookie scent anywhere. But then I like looked at some of the comments of what people are saying and a lot of people love this and said it was like really, really good. And I was like, FOMO, I can't not have it. So I just went ahead and grabbed it. And it's, these are happy shapes, you guys. These are like the biggest shapes of the whole order, which is funny because it was my last minute one. Um, but pumpkin sugar cookie is sweet pumpkins, chewy sugar cookie, brown sugar, and spice. So it just seems kind of like a classic scent. It doesn't seem like anything crazy, right? Like a nice pumpkin bakery, but we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll see. This is good. Um, this does smell like a, like a thick cream cheese coated pumpkin cookie. I can smell the pumpkin. It's distinctly a pumpkin scent. Almost like slightly like pumpkin oatmeal-esque but there's like a thick pile of cream cheese icing, which is the perfect combination with any pumpkin scent. Cream cheese on pumpkin is like heaven. This is so good. Yeah, this, I can see the hype. Chewy sugar cookie, brown sugar spice. Uh, this is not, to my nose, not really spice heavy. I do get spices but they're more like a sweetened toned down version of the spices where some of the other scents that I've had today are like definitely very spice heavy. Um, this one is not, this one is mostly like a soft, sweet pumpkin cookie scent. So love this, really happy I just last minute grabbed that. And then finally I did pick up three things of body care. First thing that's not Halloween, but I wanted to grab it. This is O Sugar Sugar, and I picked this up in a body butter sugar scrub. I'm currently working on the Zape Cotton Candy body butter sugar scrub. This is the same exact scent. Um, I probably shouldn't open this up. This is the same exact scent as the cotton candy, in my opinion, if you guys are wondering, which this one and the cotton candy, to me, smells very similar to the Body Fantasies type cotton candy. So if you guys have tried that um, scent, this kind of reminds me of that. So I wanted to go ahead and pick some more up of this. And this is beautiful. It's got some gold glitter in here. So just wanted a backup. Love that scent. It's amazing. And I saw it, so I just grabbed it. And then two things that I did pick up that are a part of the Halloween collection. Did have, I do have both of these actually in the opposite pairing. So I picked up Jack-O-Lantern in the Body Butter Sugar Scrub. 
and I do have this currently in the whipped soap from last year and I picked up Boonilla Scream and I have this in the whipped soap which I have in the body butter sugar scrub from last year. So I just wanted to get these so I could pair them with it th for this season. Um, another thing to note is um, Ashley from Zape did mention um, that these labels were supposed to be waterproof but when you get them underwater they do run, the ink does run on them. So the people that did purchase these, um, either if it didn't get shipped out to you, they delayed shipping so they could fix the labels. And if it did get shipped out to you, um, then she sent, at least for me, she sent an email and just said, we made a mistake, explained the situation, and then gave uh, like a $10 off coupon, which is very generous um, and much appreciated, even though it's, it's really not that big of a deal if these leak. Um, another thing that was noted in that email that she sent is that you can just put some packing tape over it and then it won't run, which is what I will do in the shower. Um, these labels are very cute. And I know it's just my opinion, but I will say I do think I did prefer the black labels that they had last year. I thought it was a little bit more like spooky looking. Um, but either way, I really don't think they can do any wrong with their labels. I think that they're really great at marketing with their labels and keeping everything very like aesthetically pleasing. So it doesn't matter that these are different. Um, I guess for some people, it does matter that they leak, but the packing tape thing works. So. If you guys have noticed these are leaking, you have them and you didn't catch the email, because I know sometimes my inbox just like gets so flooded that I don't look. I just happened to check it that one day. Um, yeah, just put packing tape over it and it'll fix it. So that's great. And both of these scents are fantastic. I have used these. I have like reviewed these last year. Same exact scent. This is the jack-o'-lantern. This one to me smells kind of like that charred pumpkin scent, the fireside pumpkin, like a toasted pumpkin seed type of scent. And I love both of these body products, they just work great for me in the shower. And then this one, which looks like it has blood like running down it. I love that, it's so cute. Um, this one is, um, I can't remember if it's like, well, I'm gonna use it this season, so let me just open it up. This one I think is like a cookie, like a cookie scent or something. Yeah, this one is just kind of like a, like a, oh, is it oatmeal cookies or something like that? It's fantastic, honestly, just both of these are super delicious. They did have a couple newer body care scents, like different lines that they came out with. I know there was like Annabelle, which was like pear. If you guys picked up the Annabelle scent, please let me know what you think about it in the comments. I just am a little bit, I get a little weird about pear and fall. Like I think I prefer pear to be like a juicier, like summertime scent rather than like a spicy pear fall scent. I don't know, I, I might just be crazy. So I didn't pick that one up, but these two I've tried and I know and I love. So yeah, I just wanted to grab more. Um, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know that video was probably quite long. I did go a little bit crazy, but Zape has one of my favorite Halloween um, fall launches out there in the wax world. So I went a little crazy, but I'm happy I did. So thank you for watching. I hope you're all having an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.